Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to break down the spring 2018 line of Merlin riding shirts available at Revzilla.com. So on my left-hand side, I have got High Viz Brian, who is wearing the Axe Kevlar shirt. We're going to work our way through all the new riding shirts from Merlin. Now, the one thing that is going to be a characteristic of all of these shirts is the fact that there's going to be a level of Kevlar reinforcement throughout, as well as CE level one elbow and shoulder armor in all the pieces that we're going to look at. Now, from a sizing standpoint, let's kick things off with the Axe Kevlar on my left-hand side. Around the $160 price point, like I said, you are getting a fully Kevlar-aligned shirt with CE-rated armor. Sizes will range from a small up to a 3XL. Brian stands at six foot, weighs in 195 pounds, and he has a 42-inch chest. We have him in a size large. It fits him spot on. Now, one of the things you're going to note about this is that when you're looking at the Axe this is gonna be full Kev fully Kevlar aligned. There's gonna be a full Kevlar lining on the inside of this. It's not just in your impact zones. Working our way from the top down. One of the things that I really like here is that you have snaps at the collar. If you've ever worn a riding shirt or a jean jacket that doesn't have this, and you're sitting there riding on the road and that thing is just flapping against your helmet, it's annoying as hell. So I really like the fact that a simple addition has been made. And as we work our way down the arms, this is where you're getting that CE rated protection. It's a thinner armor, still very comfortable, and it doesn't change too much of the look of the fact that this is just a shirt. Now, the armor is removable. So if you don't want the impact armor, you can pull that out and just use this with the Kevlar lining that gives you the abrasion resistance. Now, as we work our way down the front, you're gonna have snaps over top of a main zipper. So you get the look of just snaps, like a simple closure for a flannel shirt, but there is gonna be that extra protection of a zipper underneath. Now, what you'll notice on all of these is that you're gonna have the LM logo for, uh, throughout Merlin's line. This is gonna be your leisure line. So this is gonna be more of that lifestyle look that you're gonna notice where it's more casual, but you're still getting that level of protection thrown in. Now you're gonna have two regular snap pockets at the front. There will be an internal pocket, so a little bit of extra storage inside. And Brian, just go straight backwards for me. What you'll notice is that there will be a connection zipper on the inside of this as well. So if you wanna match this up with the Merlin riding jeans, there's a short connection zipper as well as belt loops. So if you're wearing this with jeans that are not for Merlin, you can go ahead and you can use the belt loop connection. There is gonna be a foam back pad in here. This is just a placeholder, it's just a back pad. I would recommend that you go ahead, you pull this back pad out and replace it with a full on back protector. Brian, go ahead and face forward for me. And that is going to wrap up our look at the Axe Kevlar shirt. We are now going to move on to the Hamlin. All right, so next we have Brian wearing the Hamlin Kevlar hoodie. And this is essentially the same construction that we saw with the Axe. Fully Kevlar aligned, you are getting the CE rated armor in the elbows and the shoulders. And this is gonna give you more of a hoodie style where that Axe was more of that flannel shirt. Zip entry point to this, the one thing to note is that with the knitting along the base of the sweatshirt as well as the cuffs on this, it almost has like a 50s bomber jacket style because you have a little bit more of a taper to this than you would. So if you are a little bit bigger up top, a little bit narrower down the waist, this is gonna be an awesome sweatshirt that will fit you nicely. Brian, do a, go do a spin around for me, face straight backwards. You are gonna have the hood. You are gonna have that same foam back pad. And like I said, with the ax, go ahead and pull that out remove it, throw a back protector in if you are excited about the fact that this is gonna give you that impact armor as well as the abrasion resistance out of the Kevlar lining. Brian, turn around for a second. I just wanna talk about sizing. Like I mentioned with the ax, Brian is 195 pounds, 42 inch chest, stands at six feet tall. He is in a large in the Hamlin, the same way he was in the Axe. Sizes still range from a small up to a three XL and you are gonna have three colors available for this now. If you're looking at this, you don't like the knit, you don't like the fact that this is gonna give you that more tapered look to it, and if you're looking at the hand pockets on this, one of the things we didn't notice when we were first looking at the pictures, the hand pockets don't go all the way down to the base of the sweatshirt. That's something a little bit odd from a styling standpoint. Most of the time, the sweatshirts kind of meet up with the bottom of the hem. Take a look at the Brampton. Now, the Brampton is gonna give you the same construction, a little bit of a looser weave to it, a little bit of a different style to it, but it's gonna be about $10 less. So if you're looking at this, you just want something with a slightly different style, but you wanna keep the hoodie theme, Brampton is the one to consider. Now we've got one shirt left to take a look at, and it's gonna be a completely different construction than the first two that we've seen. Both the Axe and the Hamlin, remember around the $160 price point, the Trenton is gonna take a bump up to the $230 range. So let's take a look at that one right now. 
Now, last but not least, we have come to the Trenton Kevlar shirt. And this is gonna be the one that's gonna be the most significantly different than anything that we've looked at so far, starting with sizing. Like I said, in all the previous versions, Brian has been a large. This is a very slim fit, and Brian is sized up to an extra large. Just one last time, because we have to hit it, 195 pounds, 42 inch chest, and he stands about six foot. Bumping him up to the extra large, this is still none too loose in him. It has a very athletic fit, but if you are typically gonna be a large across the board, this is where you wanna size up, and you're still gonna get that slim athletic look to this. Now, the one thing you'll note here, you do have the snaps at the collar, the same way that we saw with the Axe shirt. Remember, I was really excited about that. As we work our way down, you are still getting the CE rated armor at the elbows and the shoulders, but now the Kevlar is gonna be localized. You're gonna have Kevlar working its way down your impact zones along the arms as well as the back, but the main difference and the reason you're seeing the Kevlar localized in this is the construction. This is gonna be a Cordura construction, 70% 70, 70 Cordura, 30% denim, and you're gonna have a Coolmax liner with this. Now the important part with the Coolmax is that it helps to alleviate some of the temperature problems that come along and that get associated with Cordura and Kevlar. So if you're wearing this in the warmer months of the year, even into the spring where it starts to get up around 70 degrees and you're sitting in you know, traffic, that Coolmax is gonna to help to regulate your temperature as opposed to just wearing a full Kevlar lined outfit. Now, if we just have Brian, go ahead and spin backwards for me for a quick second. Same way we talked about with all the other ones, this is just a back pad. You wanna go ahead, you wanna remove that and put a full on CE rated back protector in there. Again, if you are excited about the impact armor, if you're not so excited about the impact armor and you're actually just looking for the abrasion resistance, you can go ahead and pull the armor out if you want to and just wear this as a Cordura jean jacket with Kevlar lining in your impact zones. Brian, go ahead and face forward. Now this is gonna round out our look at Merlin's 2018 spring riding shirt line. Remember the ax is your just flannel shirt that's gonna give you that full Kevlar lining as well as the impact protection. Getting into the Hamlin, that's your sweatshirt. And then taking a look at the Trenton is going to be your Cordura jean jacket style. Again, looks more like a shirt than a jean jacket, but it is gonna give you that same level of protection, especially with the Cordura in that exterior layer. Now, if there's anything here you want more info about, now would be the time to click that little button on your screen, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there utilizing Merlin's riding gear on their motorcycles. If you're still not convinced, you know, which shirt is right for you and your style of ride, you can always go ahead and give the Gear Geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the 2018 spring line of Merlin riding shirts. I'm Spurge. This is Hive is Brian. Enjoy the ride.